What's up, peeps? Um, it's a minute, 18 seconds left. Milwaukee up 10. It's academic at this point. I was going to do a video with um, videos and voiceover and all that stuff, but um, my other laptop has gone out and I just haven't had time to, uh, to uh, go buy another one. And the wife is using another laptop. So, the Boston is about to go down 3-1, three, three right? And so, and by all accounts, it's academic at this point. The series is over. But what I want to highlight, and not just because I am a Pistons fan, but to let you know how special the original Isaiah Thomas was to not only lead the Detroit Pistons to three straight NBA Finals, but to win to back-to-back. -to -back. This league is not made for short people. Short meaning six, one, below. Isaiah Thomas is about six, one, by all accounts. And we have had guys probably more talented than Isaiah Thomas. Kyrie Irving is more talented than, than, than Isaiah Thomas, in my opinion. Steph Curry... Um, with his shot and handles, As Zeke had handles too, but Steph Curry had probably more talent. Once you add in the fact that he's the greatest shooter we've ever seen, Allen Iverson um, had more talent than Isaiah Thomas. But this league is not made for little guys. And for a little guy to lead a team full of giants to the NBA championship, it, I, I don't know if it can be done again at this point. Um, you have to be a dog. You just have – and Kyrie is not a dog. Um, Kyrie is a sidekick, and he's proving it right now. Um, you just can't say, I'm going to lead him, or your, – your actions have to be what, what leads, what leads uh, a team to a championship. Just because you're good, just because you won an a, a NBA championship with LeBron – that don't entitle you to nothing, bro. And if you want to be a superstar, you have to deal with this, deal with the press and all the pressure that come along with it. Yeah, I understand you, you, you probably just realized that. But what you need to realize is you're number two. You're number two. You go get you a max. Um, if you leave Boston, but the people of Boston probably ready to run you out of town. Uh, you have stunted the growth of so many promising players, Kyrie, um, Terry Rozier, um, Jason Tatum, um, Jalen Brown. You, you have to be a dog. And Kyrie is not a dog. And you know who else is not a dog? Steph Curry. Steph Curry ain't a dog. There's no coincidence that he struggles every postseason, that his numbers take a dip. This is a big man league. And, and like I'm trying to highlight, I'm, I'm just realizing. I've been a Pistons fan for over 30 years. And I'm just realizing how special Isaiah Thomas was. And I apologize, Zeke. I'm sorry, bro. Um, you know, I've been one of the people that say, hey, Steph is better. And I still believe that. But what Isaiah Thomas did, I'm realizing it almost 30 years later, man. Steph, numbers tank. Well, don't tank. He's inconsistent in the postseason. Now, he'll probably ball out tonight. But this won't be the last stinker that he throw up because he does it every postseason. That's, that's the reason why he hasn't won a finals MVP because as the rounds get harder, um, I don't know if his body wears down or I'm not sure what it is. But you have to be – beyond special and you have to be an absolute animal to be a little guy and lead a team to a championship Kyrie does not have what it takes he doesn't he doesn't have the temperament he doesn't have the leadership skills he is a number two he's gonna get a max now he now if he joined forces with KD somewhere Brooklyn uh, Madison Square Garden Clippers whoever he may win another chip, but Kyrie is not leading you anywhere. I'm telling you, the next team that get Kyrie, if you get Kyrie by yourself, 
You'll be good. You'll be relevant. You ain't winning jack. Not with that dude on your team. Not with him leading it. And Steph, it is what it is. Um, the book is closed on that. I don't care what they do this year. Steph numbers dip. KD leaves. Golden State is a fourth seed next year. Second round exit. The run is over.